Good morning. Good morning, good morning. I'm gonna wait a minute for y'all to start getting on. I'm just gonna take a second, drink a couple of sips of water, <laughs> and wait for y'all to start pop. Good morning. Let me know where you're praying from today. Let me know. Put your your the name of your state and your city if you don't mind, so we can just see where you're praying from. We're so blessed to have you on every morning praying with us, seeking the Lord. Um, I want to remind you as you get on to go ahead and share the prayer broadcast. Hit that share button and invite people to pray with us now or pray with us later. And I want to encourage you to start inviting your friends on your Facebook page. Good morning, good morning. I'm going to wait for some of y'all to pop on here. I see names coming up. <clears throat> Give me a thumbs up if you hear me okay. This is Pastor Cindy. I am praying today. Uh, Pastor Callie is in Philly at a Her Voice event. And um, anyway, I was supposed to be there too. Uh, I'm missing being there, but you know, God has a plan for us here as well. And it's all good. I am praying I get to go to the next one. Uh, we're so blessed by the Her Voice events. I want you to continue to pray for Pastor Jenny and Pastor Callie, all the leaders that go and give their time and prayer. The prayer uh, team that goes early with Pastor Callie uh, to pray as well. Be praying, be praying. God is going to move powerfully. I believe that with all my heart tonight and tomorrow and Saturday. So let's just continue to pray for Her Voice not only this weekend, but around the nation as God continues to open the doors. Uh, we're believing for a million women in prayer. So let's continue to invite people to pray with us every morning. We have an assignment, and this is a God assignment to pray, to pray. The greatest thing that you and I can ever do is be prayer warriors, ladies, to seek the face of God, to stand in the gap as an intercessor. That's the greatest gift that we can give ourselves, give our families, give our children, our grandchildren, give the world, give our church family, is to pray. Our prayers are so effective. Sometimes it may seem like it's not when you're looking at your circumstances, but just know God is moving in ways sometimes that we cannot see with the natural eye. That's why we live by the Spirit, not according to the flesh, because if we lived according to the flesh, we would be looking at circumstances right? And if we don't see our circumstances change in 24 hours because we prayed, then sometimes we'll want to quit. But no, we don't, we don't live by the flesh. We live by the Spirit. And the Spirit knows the timing of everything. His ways are perfect. His timing is perfect. Sometimes He says yes to our prayers immediately, and sometimes it takes a while. And sometimes it may be a no, because God knows what's best for us. Sometimes we pray things that are amiss and we don't even know they're amiss. We think it's the right thing for us. And God's not answering that prayer because he knows what's best. It would be like Duke coming to me today and asking me, Mama, can I buy a car? <laughs> and I would say to Duke at eight years old, no. No, you can't buy a car right now. Maybe when you get a little bit older. But, Mama, I want a car. Get me a car for Christmas. I really want a car. Mom, Daddy lets me practice in the backyard, in the back streets of our neighborhood. And I sit in his lap and I, I turn the steering wheel. I know how to drive. No, no, Duke, you don't. No, you don't. I, as a parent, I know what's best for you. You may be asking for something that maybe is not a bad thing, but it's not the right time for that thing. There's more maturity required for before that thing can be allowed in your life, right? So that, that's how it is with God and us. We must know that God has a better plan and his plan's always the best plan, right? His ways are always the best ways. That's why the Bible says his ways are higher than our ways. So we trust him this morning. We trust him that he knows what's best. 
And as we pray, God will begin to show us, if you ask him, Holy Spirit, show me where I'm praying amiss. Show me where I'm praying prayers that I don't need to be praying and show me prayers that I need to pray. And the Holy Ghost will begin to teach you how to pray according to his will, purpose, and plan. That's why it's important to pray the word of God because the word of God is always his will. His word is settled in heaven and will not change. So if I pray his word, I'm praying his will. I'm praying his plan for me and my family and my future. <clears throat> That's why it's important that we know the word of God, that we hide the word of God in our heart, that we open the Bible and we study the word of God and we ask Holy Spirit to give us revelation of the word and understanding of the word so that we know how to not only declare the word, but pray the word. Amen. I love you so much. I honor you. I thank you for being so faithful to pray every morning. Remember, continue to share the prayer cast, continue to invite, invite women to pray with us. We're believing for a million women, a million women. Wow. That's a big number, Pastor Cindy. Yeah, it is. It is. But you know what? With God, all things are possible. And when God gives you a mandate to do something, if you will just say yes to it, he will do the impossible. And we must not despise the days of small beginnings because God knows how to build his kingdom. So I love you this morning and I honor you. Let's start this day by communion. I want to go ahead and start my communion. I don't know what just happened to the prayer cast. I hope it didn't go off. It looked like it went black on me for a second. <clears throat> anyway, I'm going to go ahead and start with communion. Let's go ahead and get our, our juice and our cracker or whatever you're drinking today. Amen. And let's honor the Lord's body and honor his blood. Lord, we just thank you today. We thank you for your love. We thank you for your presence. We thank you for your goodness. We enter into your gates with thanksgiving and into your courts with praise. We are so blessed today. We're so thankful. I'm thankful for health. I'm thankful for life. I'm thankful for all the good things that you've given me, God. Come on right now, just begin to thank him. I thank you, Jesus, that you are my Lord and my Savior. I thank you that you died for me, but you didn't just die for me. You rose again and you, and you poured out your Holy Spirit on the day of Pentecost so that I could be filled to overflowing with your power and your love. I thank you, Jesus, for what you did for me at the cross, but I thank you it didn't stay there but you rose again and you defeated death, hell, and the grave. I thank you that you saved me. I thank you that you have set me free. I thank you for what you have done in my family and my husband and my children and now in my grandchildren's lives and for generations to come. Lord, I just thank you for your goodness. I thank you for your faithfulness. I thank you that you are my father and you are my friend and you are my comforter and you are my righteous judge. I thank you, Jesus, for all that you have done for me and continue to do for me. Lord, we honor your body today and we honor your blood. And we thank you, Lord, that there is power in the blood of Jesus. There is power in the blood of Jesus today to heal and set the captive free. So Lord, I thank you as we receive your body and your blood I thank you that you're healing the sick today. All manner of disease and illness and sickness is bowing to the name of Jesus. All COVID-19, all cancer, all immune disorder in the name of Jesus, diabetes in the name of Jesus must bow. In Jesus' name, I declare healing and health over the body of Christ today. All back disorders in the name of Jesus, kidneys being healed, liver disease being healed, heart disease being healed in the name of Jesus. Everybody on this prayer cast today, physical body, line up with the word of God. Begin to call the names of those that you know are dealing with illness and sickness. And as you receive communion today, receive it in faith and by faith for not only your healing, but for their healing today. Call their name, call their name, be healed in the power and the blood of Jesus. Lord, we thank you for it. We thank you for health. We thank you for life. We thank you for joy. We, we thank you as we receive communion today. All depression and all anxiety must bow to the name of Jesus. And Lord, hope is arising in the hearts and the lives of your people today. 
All depression must cease. All anxiety must go in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. I hear the Lord saying new hope. New hope is coming to you and to your family and to your children and to your children's children. In the name of Jesus, new hope, new faith. Lord, I thank you, God, that you are igniting our faith today to another level, another level, Father God. In the name of Jesus, we thank you for your blood. We thank you that you poured out your blood, all of your life's blood for us today. There is power in the wonder-working blood of the Lamb. We thank you, Jesus, for your body. We thank you, Jesus, for all that you suffered in your body so that we could be whole, mind, body, and spirit. Wholeness. Wholeness today. Not just in our physical body, but in every area of our lives, God. I declare wholeness physically, emotionally, spiritually. We're coming into alignment with your word and what your word says about us and what your blood and your body says about us, Jesus. We are made whole by the precious blood of the lamb. So Lord, we receive it today in faith, in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Right now, as you receive it, begin to thank him for healing. Thank him for healing. Thank him for wholeness. You receive your precious blood. Your precious blood. Woo! There's power in the blood of Jesus. There's hope in the blood of Jesus. There's life in the blood of Jesus. Woo! Lord, we love you today. We bless you, Jesus. We thank you for life. We thank you for hope. We thank you for wholeness. We thank you, Jesus, that you're healing our bodies. Our bodies are coming to alignment with the word of God and being healed in Jesus' name today by the power and the blood of Jesus. We thank you for it, Father. We thank you for it. Right now, just begin to thank him. Thank him. Praise him. Praise him that it's done. Come on, begin to see yourself whole. Begin to see your friends and family whole. See them healed by the precious blood of the Lamb. We thank you, Jesus, that you are our healer and you are our deliverer. We bless your name, Jesus. We come to you, Father God, by the blood of Jesus and the precious name of Jesus the Christ, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sin of the world. Woo, we thank you, Jesus. You are our redeemer, our hope, our peace. Everything we need is in you, Jesus. Everything we desire is in you, Jesus. You are the way. Some of you are looking for the way today. You're trying to figure some things out. You need answers to questions. You have some situations that you're dealing with that you need wisdom and direction. Right now, begin to call on Jesus because Jesus is the way. He has the way. So Jesus, we ask you by the Holy Spirit today to speak to your daughters and sons that could be watching and show them by your spirit, speak to them by your spirit, the way, answers to questions that they need answers to, to situations they need direction for. We ask you, Holy Spirit, to speak today and show us the way. Show your daughters the way. Show us the truth about the situation. Reveal lies, cancel lies, and reveal the truth in its place that we may know the truth and the truth will set us free from every lie, every discouraging thought. I break it right now in the name of Jesus and I ask the Holy Spirit to reveal any lie that you and I have believed today. Uncover the lie, repent for believing the lie and begin to thank Jesus for the truth. 
He is the way, the truth, and the life. The only access the enemy has to you and I is for us to agree with him on any lie that he is telling us. Because when we begin to agree with his lies, we open the door for him to come in and have legal right to torment and bring fear and discouragement and any other thing that confusion that he wants to bring. So you ask the Holy Spirit, reveal to me any lies that I'm believing, repent of those lies, and begin to declare that those lies are broken and annulled by the blood of Jesus, and begin to declare the truth of God's word over that situation. I want to say, stop agreeing with your adversary, the devil. Stop agreeing with him, okay? Stop it. Today, you need to stop it. Today, you need to say, I'm, I'm through talking like that. I'm through saying those negative things about my life and my family or my children. I'm through agreeing with the adversary because that's the only legal right he has to my life is for me to agree with his accusations. Whether it's about me, about my children, about my family, about my husband, whatever the lies are, that's the only power he has to come in and wreak havoc is for you and I to agree with him. So if you've been agreeing with the adversary and you've been speaking what he's been saying to you, repent, repent of that, repent of that, and ask God to forgive you and shut the door to the adversary. Shut the door and begin to declare God's truth over your children, over your marriage, over the situations that have got you stressed out and feeling discouraged today. Amen. We are in a war, ladies. We're in a war. Don't you know that the enemy is after your mind? He's after your thoughts. He's after your words, right? He wants to confuse you. He wants to keep you in torment and fear and stressed out and uh, worried about all kinds of things because that's what he does, right? But you and I must fight the good fight. It's a good fight. It's not a bad fight. The good fight of what? Faith. And what, what's, here's a, here's a way to build up your most faith, your most holy faith. Jude says to pray in the Holy Ghost. So when you pray in the Spirit, you're building up your most holy faith. So put on some worship music today. Begin to dance around and praise Jesus. I said this Sunday, if you need to get some pots and pans and beat on a couple of pots and pans, if you don't have a drum, I got a little drum here I can beat on. But if you don't have one of those, get you some pots and pans. I know this sounds crazy. Walk around the house, beat those pans uh, to the beat of the song and praise Jesus. Change the atmosphere of your home. Turn it into a place of praise and worship and begin to declare the word of God over your situation. And trust me, things will begin to change, not only in your heart and mind, but in your home. Change the atmosphere of your home by worshiping the Lord today, by praising Jesus today and telling him how great he is. Magnify Jesus over the problem. Magnify Jesus over your children. Magnify Jesus over your marriage. Amen? That's what God's looking for. He wants us to agree with him. We're co-laboring with Christ. Amen? By, by the way we pray, by the way we worship because God is using you and I to bring heaven's realities through prayer and through worship to the world, to our families, to our children. So right now, in the name of Jesus, I want you to begin to declare the blessing of God over your family. Lift up your family today. Call your husband's name if you're married. If you're not married, call for the husband that God wants for you, because <laughs> he's got the right one. Wait on the right one. Don't get the Ishmael. Don't get the Ishmael. Wait for the Isaac. God's got the right one. Don't be impatient. Wait on the Holy Ghost. Begin to pray over your husband. Begin to pray over your children. Begin to pray over your grandchildren. Come on, declare the blessing of God. Lord, I thank you for Jack and Whit and Leland and Mandy and Shelly and Pay. I thank you that my children will walk in the ways of God all the days of their life. That they would hear your voice today, God, saying this is the way, walk in it. That they would rise up and, and be, be the sons and daughters that you have called and destined them to be. That they would fulfill their destiny and their purpose.
and your will and plan for them, Father God, that they will love you and serve you only, that you would be the Lord, not just the Savior of Jack and Wit and Leland and Mandy and Shelly and Pay's life, but you would be the Lord of their life, that they would surrender every area of their lives to you, Jesus. I declare the blessing of God on them today, that the blessing of God will overtake them and chase them down, that you, you are leading them by your spirit, the favor of God is upon them, that you go before them and make every crooked place straight. I ask you, Jesus, for divine appointments and Holy Ghost setups today for my children. I declare that over them today. I thank you that they have strong marriages, 